Hi friends, in this video we will discuss SAML2 Federation user profile details. What it means? When the SAML2 happened in between IDP and ASP, how the user profile is uh, formation happened between them. Okay. In the previous video I have explained SAML2 configuration in OpenAM. So this is the continuous video for that. So please use that to see that video and to configure the SAML2 in OpenAM. So after configuration of SAML2 in OpenAM and after testing, then how you learned how you see will understand how the user profile is have linkage link happened between the IDP and SP. So then how to access those details from uh, from 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 the tools. So which tool you are going to using to access the user profiles. Okay. So this is a continuous video. So I am going not going to explaining that configuration of the open aim in uh, configuration of SAML to in open aim. So I'm going to showing here uh, how to access the open DJ from okay. The open DJ is embedded in the open aim. In the in the previous video, I have shown uh, open aim default installation. So what is the meaning of default installation? The Open DJ is uh, installed within the OpenAM that is calling uh, that is called as a embedded Open DJ. So how to access the embedded Open DJ from the tool? So which tool we are going to using? We are going to using the Apache Directory Studio. Okay, this is one of the best and free tool to access the any LDAP directory server. Okay, so he, here we have a access uh, like a IDP and we have a SP. Correct. So these are the details we have, like a uh, IDP details, the host name, and port and bind DN, that is a username, and password and base DN. Okay. The same way we have a uh, SP also. SP also we have a host name, port and bind DN. So these two LDAP directories, how to access from the Apache Directory Studio, I will show you, and we will see how the user profiles are stored. Okay. So yeah, go to uh, X, open the Apache Directory Studio. Uh, I'm going to there. So yeah, here Apache DS, not Apache DS. Here we have a Directory Studio. Go to blog. Yeah, Apache Directory Studio already I have installed in my system. So if not installed in your system, you can uh, go through the video. I will give, I will share the Apache Directory Studio installation video link in the description. Okay, I'm opening the Apache Directory Studio. So meanwhile, I have opened the, I have accessed the IDP application from the Firefox and SP application from the Chrome. So here we have go to the identity store here after login. Suppose you have logged in, correct? So it will be like this. This is the dashboard. Once you logged in into the OpenAM application, go to top level realm, identity stores. Here we have a embedded open DJ. So this embedded open DJ, how to access? So click on that. You can see the server details. This is the LDAP server, sp.example.net 51389 is the port and a username and password. If you uh, initially you don't know the password because of that is a, uh, by default open name is install open DJ correct so that you can give the password okay I am giving the password is admin 1234 okay so after giving the password you can click on the save changes the same way we have to do in the IDP application also IDP application also now go to identity stores embedded open DJ so here also here you can see the port is different and I host name is different okay because we have both two applications one is the IDP and second one is the SP so the host name and the ports are different but I'm giving the username passwords are same to easily understanding okay I'm giving I given the password is uh, admin 1234 here also click on the save changes okay now we have to access this embedded open DJ from the directory studio how to access okay click on the new connection here once you open the apache directory studio click on the new connection so i'm giving that am idp okay 
this is just connection name you can give anything uh, what is the connection details eight idp this is the idp correct so give this idp dot example dot org idp dot example dot org after giving this one we have to give the port what is the port five zero three eight nine correct yeah then we have to give this uh the bind in so now go to the next click on the next here, here it is asking bind dn or username so give this like like this okay and bind password so just now we have updated the password like a admin one two three four so click on the check authentication you can check this uh, connection is successful or not now the connection was successful okay click on finish see now we have connected the embedded open dj from here apache direct studio the same way you can access the sp op embedded open dj also okay the same way like i'm giving sp uh am sp service provider okay so now go to where is our sp here so give that sp.example.net sp.example.net is the host name and the port is 51389 51 51389 click on next and then here you have to give the username so what is the username here this is the username and password admin one two three four so check click on check authentication now authentication was successful click on finish so now we are able to accessing idp open dj and sp open dj so now first go to the a idp okay now expand this one here you can see in the pre earlier in the previous video we have used the demo user to log in into open am to for uh, testing of sml to federation module okay now go to o equal to people now here you can see there is a user so the demo idp we have used for this ml testing so click on this yeah here you can see SCN, SN, employee number, given name, INET user status, I planet, AM user config, and mail. And here, these are the two important parameters. This is for the uh, establishing the connection between the IDP and the SP. Okay, so here you can see uh, SNM, SAML to name ID info. So this is the IDP server, correct? Right? So idp.example.com, 8083, AMIDP, slash. So it is linked with the SAML2. So this is some token, some in a encryption information to make the connection without login again in the SP. Okay. Initially, whenever we are initially we are trying to log in into IDP, then both case it will add the authentication. After done both case authentication, no need to again log uh, login into SP. Once you logged in into IDP, automatically your SP will not ask the re-authentication. So these are the parameters, these are two parameters like info key. By using these two parameters, the second time the SP service will not ask the re-authentication. Okay. The same way you can see in the SP also. Click on the SP here. Click on expanding. Please expand this one. Yeah go to o equal to people and demo sp so here also the c so these two demo sp and demo idp these users are different users but made a single sign up okay so here also it is show save this information okay see here the key is there same correct if right now i am in the am idp here you can see the info key so this is the last JBO. The same way you can see here in the SP application, this is JBO. So that's why in any one of the application, if you log in, the second application will not ask the re-authentication. Okay. These are the two parameters are very important to make the single sign-on in the OpenAM, where we are using the OpenAM as IDP and OpenAM as a service provider. But in the real time, if you have a general application, uh, then the then uh, sp said how you want to store the data that is according to your requirement you have to store it okay so this is the uh, information how the user profile is link formation how it happened between the idp and sp
okay now we'll we'll show you like one test here okay now clicking on logout here so uh, we'll create one new user okay click on this identity i'm giving some uh, demo sp2 okay so it is a idp correct so i'm giving demo idp2 password is something i'm giving admin one two three four like that for remembering so demo idp2 at the right exam at the right example dot org see here two different accounts okay so click on create yeah so the same way we can create at the sp side also go to identities uh, now give uh, demo sp2 okay. and password admin one two three four so no need to give the same password okay you can give the different password but for a demo perspective i am giving the same password so demo sp2 at the rate example dot net click on create okay now to account uh, I suppose we have created a user for the same user but with the different details in the idp and sp details now how to achieve single sign on just let's log out here uh, else you can go open the new private window okay no private window you might be confused so i will log out here only idp sorry okay return to login here so now we need the uh, sp uh, sorry idp initiate uh, initiate url how to test this one okay we have here yeah this is a idp initiating test okay uh, idp initiated url now copy this url i'm pasting here okay it's a bad request something ip is wrong let's take port is different might be 8083 80 it's not 8081 it's 8082 so okay i will update in the ppt also uh, so here is this one it's 8082 yeah so now we have did we have done idp initiate okay so now enter the idp uh, username and password so what is the idp username and password uh, demo idp2 and password okay, now we are logging uh, the user as a first time so then definitely it will uh, the sp's application also will ask the authentication okay sorry demo idp2 yeah click on login See, once authentication successful at idp at idp side then it is redirected to the sp application like here you can see now we are in the sp login page okay now give the demo esp2 okay and give the password now these two links the between these two profile the link link formation happened click on login yeah single sign on succeeded now we can see go to the tapachi directory studio now go to idp now refresh this one uh, refresh yeah there is a demo idp2 so here also the uh, access keys changed for this user okay go to that sp open dj here also you can see that key also changed so means that the key the, the both idp and sp should be having the same key so that it will achieve the single sign up go to where you are people and msp here also one z the last name is like one z so here also one z so like this the user profile is form a link formation happened between idp and sp now uh, let's take the same url again what will happen let's see oh sorry copy this here and paste it here now it will not ask because already this session is created okay now close this uh, url okay close sorry now close this uh, browser and again open firefox paste the same url that is the idp initiated url enter this one so where is the user details like idp so which, uh, which what is the server idp so it will redirect to the that idp server okay uh, so then enter the demo 
IDP and demo IDP two. Okay. Now enter the password. So now next now the open IDP the open name IDP will validate this user details and it will check this user is already exist or not in the SP side also. So then if it is existing then the it will validate that SAML key and all info key and all. If it is both are same then then it will not ask the re-authentication at SP side. So SP will read directly give the single sign on succeeded like that. So click on login. See now it is not asked the re-authentication at SP side. So SP side directly allowed that user showing like a single sign and succeeded. Yeah. Okay. This is the like a user profile how established between the two uh, two different entities. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video. Please uh, <coughs> please subscribe. Please share the comments and subscribe to channel to get the latest updates. Thank you once again.